The song is entitled, We Used to Be America. It's performed by the Tallahassee duo Hot Tamale, although the composition is almost entirely the creation of one half of the group, Adrian Fogelin. She was motivated by the anti-immigrant sentiment that has been sweeping this nation of immigrants. You don't have to look far back in your family tree to see the people who came through Ellis Island, Castle Rock. It's just part of who we are, who we all are, unless you're a Native American. And the purpose of the song is to remind us of what we're losing in this moment. We're a nation built by immigrants who dreamed big dreams in tenements. Fogelin's dismay isn't confined to the widespread animus against immigrants. She also mourns what she considers the loss of the country's sense of higher purpose. We want to be the winners. We're isolationist, we're nativist. I don't know how it went so quickly and so easily. I don't know why more people weren't indignant and angry because this is not the America I know. The other half of Hot Tamale, Craig Reeder, says his contribution to the song was mainly polishing the final arrangement and providing musical touches to enhance the sonic character of the track. We're going on the proposition that music communicates in a different way than rational discourse, in a more direct way, directly to the heart. But the promise is like broken, like a warranty run out. Of course, in this multimedia age, just having a song available as a CD or downloadable audio file is never enough. We have made a music video with this song, and anyone who likes can go to vimeo.com and just enter We Used to Be America by Hot Tamale, and you can see the video. Reader says he and Fogelin will be performing this song and many other tunes from their vast repertoire at Railroad Square's Black Dog Cafe this Saturday evening starting at 6. The event is being hosted by 100,000 Poets for Change. It's this worldwide organization that was founded by Michael Rothenberg, who is based here in Tallahassee. A number of local poets, including Melanie Rawls, Mary Jane Riles, and Lynn Knight. The headliner is a very dynamic young man whose name is Joaquin Suatanejo, who is going to be making a poetic presentation that is sure to knock people's socks off. That lady still stands on our shore, the world still full of tired and poor. The overall vibe, say the tamales, sort of like those coffee houses that fomented so much social and political change back in the 1960s. For WFSU News, I'm Tom Flanagan.